I'll say it was a, I can't remember which government had the slogan, but it's a matter of trust. You <laughs> cannot trust him Agreed. to behave. You cannot trust him uh, um, um, to do the right thing. Granted, he has talent, but you cannot trust him. And I think that's the biggest, that's the biggest thing. And for me to pay you, I, I, I got to trust you. There's no, there's no doubt it. That you he would perform, but you just cannot trust him. Yeah, but we all we we all do agree he belong. He has the talent to to be on an NFL team right now. Yeah, he definitely is talented. Yeah, yeah, hey, totally but T.O. Totally. was talented enough too before they, you know, blackballed him. Yeah. Uh, hey, Rodney, Rodney, you, huh? Rodney, you touched on a key point too in terms mm -hmm. of him not knowing or understanding that you know if he had just behaved for a few more days, he had guaranteed money. Who was his agent? Drew Rosenhaus, right? Yeah. Check the issues he had with his uh the, the the issues his clients had with him in the past. So I mean, and this is a topic we could probably tackle later on, but you know, it's important now we the, 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 the landscape of agents are changing now and we, we need more more of us for lack of a better term. Yeah, better representation. Like better you. representation, pretty much. So yeah, that's something we got to discuss as well. You know what I mean? I mean, that's real. Though. These tools, uh, if you look at the, the the business model, you make you are equally, if not more, financially stable than the person you represent, and you don't have the talent to play in the field or the or the prerequisites. So, but then something has to be wrong with them. But I used to tell persons it's tough talking to somebody who is at risk or underprivileged. Friday, and you say, "Wait, there's a check with two hundred thousand dollars your name on it on Tuesday." But then granted, he's worth $2.4 million, but that's the largest amount of money you've seen. So that's where they catch him. And what happens is, uh, if you have the documentary name, but they pretty much groom them from this. And like high school, junior high school, and they, they, they guide them to that point. So they, they think that's how it has to be. I think that's why I do with yeah. like LeBron James and Marv Carter and will always be the enemy in that regard to taking the power of what? It's right. so much try a black ball, do with something that you need to have a certain degree or certification to become an agent and then the guys say, why would you need degrees and certification to, to be an agent? You're literally somebody's mouthpiece. So I don't see why it's an agent. But I mean, apart from AB's agent, AB goes a lot of foolishness. So, yeah, I yeah, mean, no, I agree. I agree. His agent was terrible. His agent probably didn't read that fine brain either. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no, Drew is one of the best agents. Yeah, now. he's one of the best. So you got yeah, he's one of the best agents. Responsibility. He tried to do everything to mend that relationship because he okay. knew what was going on. Because the reality mm -hmm. is, when Antonio yeah. gets paid, he gets paid. He gets paid. So he, he wants his money. So it's just, Antonio's too talented for Drew to drop him. And for Drew to drop him, that means Antonio just wasn't getting it. You understand? Like, but, time but after Drew. time, you're getting it. He, you, got, you got to the Patriots after all of this, right? And you just couldn't shut the up. Patriots, that's crazy. The girl alone. You see what I'm saying? You just, yeah. He just didn't know how he did. He, his problem is, and this is a problem in life, you have to be mindful of your circle. Or you have to be mindful of, 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 of the social media trolls who are telling you, good job, man, good job, feeling your own press, yeah, good job, you know, yeah. You know, you have to be, those people still living their life, they, 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 they have no, yeah. no, you know, like skin in the game, whether you succeed or not. Real no. So, so you, you have to be mindful of, of, of what you listen to. So yeah. I just yeah. think, bro, he was tone deaf. Mm. He's been accustomed to getting away time. with whatever he wanted to get away with. And it goes to show you just how much Mike Thomas and them was, was, was shielding us from what he was doing. Oh, great. And, and protecting oh, him great. from, from himself. But he, he, he didn't yeah. really understand what was happening. So true. Yeah, and then Ben 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 Roethlisberger is an example of how Mike Tomlinson can shield uh, the players from the world because that dude went to weight loss, and he was still able to keep him focused. I think I think the Steelers is is our team. Me describing they have a strong quarterback, they have a strong coach, they have a strong culture, they have a strong defense. I mean, that, I, that, that, that bridge done burned. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bridge, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he ain't going down. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think he need to do a self evaluation, man. He need to look at himself and say, "Look, yeah, I doing foolishness. I need to change my life, change my perspective, or else I may never be able to play football again." Because you he have the talent, he just need. Sharon, you think that year outside of the league, 
uh, gave him any humble pie or you, th you, you um, think he had that self-evaluation? Well, no, I don't think he had the self-evaluation because if you, if, you, if you look at him, like, he ain't really changed. Like, he's still the mm -hmm. same person. He still is be freaking himself out. So, like, it ain't like, <laughs> it ain't like, like, it ain't like Mellow, like, in the NBA, the situation, Mellow. Mellow said that, yeah, out of the NBA, Mellow come back humble. You see, they say so, they ain't like, oh, still the Basketball's slightly different in that regard. Because the no, I talk about, I talk about, but I talk about, not, not the sport, but I talk about just in terms of your personality, like, you realize one day you're a star, and then you just get cut twice back to back. Like, that should have do something them. Yeah. But the thing is, even with Melo, with that, Melo didn't really feel like he's recently got cut, though. Like, is, is Melo never felt like his talent's reason why he got caught? He was Melo playing, Paul and Melo still think he's the number one option in Paul and now that's, that's part of the problem. <laughs> like, like, bro, you, that ain't, you, want, you are Melo of old. Like, you aren't Syracuse Cup Melo, you want the Amber Nuggets Cup Melo. You was Paul and Jay Bill's Cup Melo. Like, Pompey breaks, but he got played the week, which is garbage. The father even got played the week, one, one week. It's like, is that, I, don't, I think that made it worse for him. He's no, I, I, I don't think he believes he's like the number one option, you know. He knows he's a, that he's still talented enough that he should not have been, he should have been in the league, guaranteed. Like, you know, I he agree. definitely knows that. I, I, I disagree, but I think he think he's still number one option for true because I watch a few games, game on the line, I he watch him bro. wave off Damian Lillard, he wave bro. off CJ McCollum and tell them clear out and he go on the wake. He miss, but he go on the wake. So I think Melo still have in the back of his mind, he's yeah. something big. Yeah. And that's the problem. And that's the problem with Antonio Brown. They realize where he is now. <laughs> no, no, Antonio, uh, he's just crazy. Because the thing is, with, with, with the receiver versus a, a, a basketball player, a basketball player can have uh, five, 12 minutes of themselves for that ball. A receiver needs someone to throw him the ball. And yeah. that, because he needs someone to throw him the ball, you can get uh, ice out or freeze also easier. So, like, if you have a follow the quarterback, he doesn't have to even throw you the ball, and now your, your numbers are bad. So, or they get double and triple team coverage you and your number six five. Or they can knock you off the line, your number six five. So it's tough. Or you could be number four, number five on a death, death from the death roster and your number six five. So, mm -hmm. AB, and then it's personal, you know. And there was among too much secrets in them locker rooms. So, chance him. Correct. Uh, yeah. Leaking those things. Uh, every time it's leaking in the locker room, someone getting suspended or fired. So, trust me, I trust it.